What's up everybody? Today I want to share with you guys some of my favorite cards I've sent out to PSA for grading. I haven't graded for a while now, so this is really exciting. So let's go with the first card here I want to share with you guys. So the first one here, as you can see, this is a Greninja EX. So this is a special art rare and man, again, look at this texture here. Japanese cards, you really can't go wrong with this. Personally, I wasn't a fan of the special like art rares that Scarlet and Violet have been doing with uh, these EX cards. But I'm starting to come around with some of these designs that they're coming out, especially again, Greninja. This is probably my favorite. We got a gem and tin, so I'm really happy about that. So this is a really, really cool, really cool art rare. I really like this, the coloring and everything. Man, what an amazing card here. Again, I'll just do it one more time because I really love the texture on this. Man, second card here. This is from the Pokemon Classic Collection. This is the Japanese version. Personally, of all the Charizard reprints for the Japanese version, this is my favorite. Like, if I'm if I'm flickering the slab back and forth, you can see the stars in the background. And the gold bordering here with the hollow, I think it looks amazing. I think this even looks better than 25th anniversary. Again, for the Japanese version, in terms of the hollow wise, I, I think this is my favorite hollow pattern. I mean, look at this. My goodness, I, I really like this. I can't wait to get the base set Japanese version of this, but man, when I first saw this, I had to get this. Like, again, the bordering, the hollow on this, amazing, amazing. Gem and 10, so I'm super happy to have this in my collection here. Man, next one here. This is the Reshiram and Charizard uh, Tag Team GX. So this was a promo for English and the Japanese version of this was way too expensive. Now this is the Chinese version and the only reason I got the Chinese version is because it's affordable and in terms of texture wise, the closest to the Japanese. Actually this is made from Japan, all the Chinese cards. So the texture wise is very similar. And man, just, just look at this here. I personally love that texture on this. This is amazing. I love the artwork on this. You can see here on the side, this is like Haunter over here. You got Charizard here. He's ready to duke it out here. Like this looks amazing. Again, texture wise, love it, love it. Really great card. And we got um, a PSA 9, so hey, not bad. I love this card, so no matter what I got for the grading, it doesn't matter to me because I think this card looks amazing. Now, next one here is the Roaring Moon EX. So this is uh, from, I'm trying to remember the set name. I think this is from, um, oh, I can't think of the name at the moment, but look at this special art rare here. So this is like the ancient version of, you could say like Salamance. And then you see here, these are like ancient versions of Jigglypuff. I think, yeah, Ancient Roar. This is from the Ancient Roar uh, Japanese set. And again, in terms of art rare wise, this is very similar to the Swish Alt Art. Like I, I really was hoping they do a, you know, very similar in terms of Alt Art for the Pokemons in the Scarlet and Violet era. But just look at this here. I'm really digging the texture here, the background, everything. I feel like Scarlet and Violet, they really moved away from this type of artwork and more for trainers and special, for special art rare or even special art rare, it's, it's, not, it's not like this anymore. Uh, so I really miss this style and, and I really like, you know, all the different Pokemons in here. And again, texture, mint, and gem, gem mint 10. So I'm super happy about this. The next one here is our Walking Weight EX. So this is from Wild Force, uh, Japanese booster box. Again, ancient version of Suicune and man, oh man. Gem Mint 10, texture is on point. Again, ancient version of Suicune. So really happy I pulled this card here and I'm so happy to have this in my collection because just look at this artwork here. It's amazing. Gives me again, Avatar, Avatar vibes here. So really cool. Gem and 10. Next we got is the Magikarp and Whale Lord GX. So man, I got this card before the Japanese price, before the prices on Japanese cards went crazy. I got this for like $40 Canadian. I thought it was really expensive back then, but I really liked the artwork on this. Like 
you can see again the texture on this like man you see the waves amazing card gem and 10 super happy about this because i know this card goes expensive ridiculous but super happy to you know got this back back then and now i graded it five years later and gem and 10 so super happy to have this in the collection now the next one here is uh we have i believe this is also from i believe it's uh shoot i think it's uh, crimson haze there you go uh, Perrin. So I, I really like the design on this character. Again, texture is amazing on this. I don't know too much about the character itself. I just really like the design and and the artwork on this. So Gem and Ten, really cool. Very happy to have this here. Now the next one we have here is our Swallowed Up Pikachu. So this is actually a promo card um, from the movie. Released in Japan, I believe, I guess 2020, called the Coco. So it was released in Japan, and it came in like a special box, and you get this uh, promo card here. Really cute. You see Pikachu being swallowed up uh, here. Not happy. <laughs> Pikachu does not look happy about it. I don't think this ever came out for English. But again, this is a special promo for the Pokemon uh, Coco movie that I, I bought this box like back in 2020. Super happy, gem in 10. After all these years of you know keeping it clean, and I'm happy I got the 10 on here. So you don't really see Pikachu get mad a lot, but this is a really cool artwork of Pikachu not happy. Now, next one we have here, and this is the last one, is for Alligator. So Temporal Forces, this is the pre-release staff, so you can see the you know the the gold here on the side on the Carter. Really cool. This is the uh, uh, I believe this is the yeah the promo card here, and they really don't make a lot for alligator uh, in terms of um, it being like a special art rare or, or or a big card itself. So I hope they do more going forward. Again, it's been a while, and I'm glad Temporal Forces they chose for alligator here because he looks really really badass here, and I love the Temporal Force logo and you know, gold staff here, mint nine. So again, didn't really matter what grade I was going to get because I'm happy with this card. And I hope they make more for Alligator uh, artwork going forward because we don't really have a lot. So really happy to share this with you guys. And comment down below. Let me know, you know, what are some of the cards you guys release, uh, recently sent up for grading? And what are your, some of your favorite cards you look to send to PSA for grading? If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And I'm definitely looking to grade more cards. So definitely looking forward to share more with you guys. And see you guys in the next video. Peace out.